Today we are going to try to see the park through the eyes of these three girls. They are in the age span, 6 to 10 years old. Dream World is located 28 miles north of Bangkok. Almost 2 million visitors find their way to this family-friendly theme park each year. I found the golden eggs. The theme park has over 40 rides. We are at the theme world, North Pole. <laughs> With an area of well over 60 acres, Dream World is the perfect place to let your kids run wild. The entry fee is $29. For adults, you can purchase single ride tickets for less than $2. has a dedicated water park inside. If you want to visit, it can be a good idea to set one day aside for that. Up with water and then when it gets full, it tips over. So you stand under it and get splashed with water. You ready? Yes! Okay, here we go. This mini roller coaster is a good option for the younger kids. Okay, look. Look in the camera. Now the girls want to go to the haunted house. You girls have to go in alone. No. That'll be terrifying. No. Hold hands and stay close. Come on, Selena. What about me? Come on, we're doing it together. Together. Yeah, where are you going to go now? Haunted house. Haunted house. So unfortunately, uh, we were not allowed to film inside this ghost house. So, uh, but you can see the reactions here that uh, it was really scary. What did you think about the haunted house? Scary. Okay. Did you cry? Little bit, little bit. But after just a few minutes on the swing, the girls were ready for yet another scary adventure. This is Photopia, a place for taking as many photos as you want. Should we get on the sky car? Let's get on the sky car. On the way, the train arrives. Yeah, it's coming. Okay. On this train track. Quick, press. Oh no, it's gonna get hit by the train. It's real slow. Right there, see how slow it moves? Like a snail. You're gonna have to stand there and scream for 10 minutes before I hit you. You can see it there. Car, you can enjoy the view across the entire park. Dream World has a number of funny mini attractions, especially suited for the younger kids. These can be fun to play around with.
they're gonna prank the girls. Girls, come and look at this dog. The sensor releases water from the dog. <laughs> Why are you screaming? One of the most fun attractions for this age group is the giant's house. The giant also has a spoon that the children can slide on, a sort of seesaw, a magical mirror, and many other wonderful things. What's here? Fly your face. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go over to the golden eggs. I found the golden eggs. Oh no! Hello! So what's, what's going on right now? Danny's driving a car. <laughs> This looks like an ordinary mirror, but if you go inside this house, then you see that it's not. This is what the mirror looks like on the inside. For people from Thailand and other parts of Asia, one of the most sought after attractions in Dream World is Snowtown. This inside sledding hill has 13 tracks. People are lined up to go all at once to avoid accidents. Are you ready for action? It was a fun, fun ride, but something stinks in here. But if this really is the North Pole, like Selena suggested earlier, what might Santa Claus be doing outside where it is 30 degrees Celsius? And if you are an American traveling across the world to see this theme park, you might find yourself more at home than you ever would have thought. trip to an amusement park must include this classic ride. Here in Dream World, they call it Thunderbird. Fairy Tales Land is where fairy tales and stories come alive. Uh, fairy tale land. It is most suited for kids even younger than six but it definitely arose curiosity in these three girls. What kind of tea do you have today? Green tea. Imagine a world that is very different from what you are used to. What do you think about this place? Scary, creepy. It's 
normal, but everything's upside down and it's fun. I like being upside down. On this trip to Dream World, we arrived at 10 in the morning and stayed until 5 p.m. Yet we were unable to visit all attractions. If you travel far to visit this park, you could easily spend two or three days exploring without boring the children. The area is about one hour outside of Bangkok, so accommodation can be very reasonable priced. 